everybody. This is Carol with Off Leash Canine Training, Cincinnati, Ohio. Today we have John, Jess, and Jude. They are eight month old Springer Spaniel pups and they come from the same household, same litter, so they'll be working very closely together. They are with us doing our two week board and train program. Now I'll also be speaking on Megan Acton's behalf as she was the trainer for John and Jude while I was the trainer for Jess. Now they're coming together here because they need to learn to work better together. I mean, they feed off of each other. They don't hold commands. Once one goes, the other will follow. For example, um, the door, once one shoots out the door, the others are gonna follow. And then it's a hard time getting them back in. So we need to develop some better door manners, better recall, so that way the owners have a safe way to get them back if they need to. Now these pups also struggle to walk on a leash. They tend to pull. So just imagine trying to walk all three together. They're tangling you up, kind of doing their own thing, pulling you all over the place. So we'll be working on those manners. Also greeting, they have a hard time greeting people and not being excited. <laughs> they love people, they wanna jump up, they wanna mouth. So we need to get that behavior to stop. Now we're gonna go ahead and check out and see what these pups know. Just come. Here we Just are come. checking out all their recalls. Just come. As you can tell when Just one is come. called, the other is gonna follow and kind of compete for that attention. Um, but again, not consistently Jessica. listening. We're gonna get them listening individually and also Jessica. as a group. So that way when the owners Jessica. call them, they're all going to, of course, listen to them a little bit better and more consistently. Um, you'll be able to tell here when Megan goes to work, um, Jude, John will come over and vice versa. And then John gets really excited and wants to jump up on her like that. So we're gonna get that behavior under control. Like I mentioned earlier, the excitement is an issue with the jumping up and wanting to get up at the face. So we'll go ahead and check out their next video. Now we're checking out each of their place commands. Um, Jess shows a little interest, puts one paw on it, and then decides totally against it. It's not her thing. Um, the boys are, again, just trying to compete for that attention, especially John. He really wants to be the center of attention. He wants someone constantly touching him. Um, so this training is going to be great for him. That way he knows he has to hold a command and can't constantly cling to a person. But then when it comes down to listening, as you can tell when Megan's telling them, John, they don't want to listen. They don't really care about getting up John, on that object. Please. So we're going to teach them what place means, please. and this is going to help a lot with confidence. John, and we'll go ahead and Good move boy. on. Check out that next video. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Now we're seeing here if they know their down Girl. command. Just down. Jess goes first. Down. Again, just like place, shows no down. interest in wanting to do this Just command. Down. Doesn't care at all. She did down. sit very nicely, but does down. not care about laying down. Now when Megan goes to work the boys, they kind down. of flip-flop with down. the down. They kind of know it, just very Jude, inconsistent. Down. So she'll tell John down. to down, then Jude lays down, and then she'll down. tell Jude to lay down, and then John Jude, decides down. to lay down. So we're going to make it so, John, like I mentioned down. earlier, they can work individually and listen oh, to good. their names. Hey, John, John, sit. John, sit. Good. John, down. Down. John, down, down. Now we're checking out those door manners. This has been an issue at the owner's home. You'll be able to tell that they all kind of bunch up up the door and then they just dart right on out. Um, I mean, this is a big safety hazard, especially if you live right by a busy street, you don't want them running out to the road at all. Um, so we're really gonna work hard. So that way, once one goes, the others aren't going to follow suit and cause any trouble. And then, as you can tell, like I mentioned earlier, once they're out, they don't want to come back in. They want to smell, they want to explore, they want to ignore you. So we're going to work on that stronger recall with them. In the last video, we've all been waiting for that before heel. Um, it's quite comical, as you can tell. I mean, they're tangling you up. They're pulling all over the place. They're just having their way. I mean, they are completely doing their own thing. It's absolutely chaotic. <laughs> Um, so we're really going to work on that heel so that way the family is able to walk all three dogs if they want to at the same time.
puppy. Good job. Good job, John. Good job, John. Good boy. Good girl.
Okay, see you.